here's a video review on the Pelican Case 1750. Uh, my wife got this for me for my birthday. Just gonna do a quick review on the new phone. It's a uh, Kazen phone, and instead of the solid phone, and instead of the pluck and pull, it's it comes in layers. So the foam comes with two sets of foam. Okay, it's the same foam all the way through. Now, instead of pluck and pull, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but you got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers of foam. So what you do is, if you buy it, I got it from, um, I bought, or she got this from the pelicanstore.com. And you can order the case, it's an upcharge to get this foam. And you'll need a, a knife, you know, they recommend their stuff. It was cheap, so she just got the case and knife and the long nose pattern marker, which I bet is going to be very beneficial to making this an easy job. So basically what you do is you lay out your guns, which I will do right now. All right, now that I'm done lining out the guns, now I can trace them. Um, I have set up, uh, I have 10 suppressed pistol setups. Uh, this way I don't have to take, uh, you know, four to five bags to the range with different pistols in it and uh, suppressors and it just, you know, if you're paying by the hour, say, to indoor range, now you're taking half your time, pulling on each gun, inserting the mag, putting the suppressor on. This way I can just grab and go. Each gun is fitted with one magazine. This way it's easier to keep track of them at the range. And then I'm going to do another setup like this for my long guns. So I'll have two long cases, two Pelican 1750s with custom cutouts for the guns. And I can wear a backpack full of ammo and extra magazines and suppressor parts. So I can literally walk in and out in one try so I can keep an eye on everything. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that pen and trace everything out and then we'll get cutting. all trace out as you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting remember that these are in layers so I have my uh, blade set to I set it to the fourth snap-off razor uh, which gives me um, about three-quarters depth on this foam piece so uh, here we go all right try to keep the blade 90 degrees straight up and down Decided to, uh, I decided to take out the complete layer because um, this foam is kind of a bitch to deal with. Uh, it's supposed to come off in layers as you can see on the side, but uh, there's a lot of glue or whatever, however it binds it between each layer and uh, it, it rips more than anything. I'm sure if you worked at it for a very long time you could get it, but I decided to just go a whole layer this way the the uh, firearms are actually in the center of the case because you got the the uh, top foam and then you got the foam underneath down here so the guns literally in the middle so go ahead and uh, cut the rest all right that was a royal pain in the ass but I'm finally complete as you can see it looks very uniform there's no frayed edges the layers came out nice this is what it looks like when it comes out. So, alright, let's go ahead and load the guns up. All done. It didn't take too long. About an hour total from start to finish on the project. As you can see, all the guns are perfectly protected in between inches and inches of foam. So, came out really good. Looks professionally cut. So, uh, really happy with it. Now I can bring uh, all my guns to the range and one box or at least the uh, handgun so I'll have to get another pelican case for the rifles 
So, um, yeah, turned out pretty good. So, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and join the conversations on Facebook. See you.